guys, welcome back to another 2021 Christmas video. We are talking about mantle decorating and the doorways in your house. If you've seen any of our Christmas videos in the past, you know that my mom and I love decorating doorways. We love decorating mantles. There are many ways to do both of those things, depending on what materials you use. And this year, I am using a beautiful faux Norfolk pine garland. I've never used this garland before and I'm very happy with it. I will link below where I got these because I know all of you are going to want to get them. They look so real. They don't smell real, but I think you could put like alpine sticks or something in them when it gets closer to Christmas. It is still September here. Yes, we film our Christmas videos very, very early. Only for you. If you guys have not yet subscribed, you know what to do. You go down and you hit that button, the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow on Instagram, I highly encourage it. Go over, it's at Shara Stevens. We post all kinds of stuff about what's going on in the house, what's going on with the kids. Kid, I only have one kid. Well, I guess I have two, I have a dog. Okay, so today's question of the video is, and this is where you have to comment below. How many stockings do you usually have on your mantle? I have three, but I think I'm blocking them. And do you get a stocking for your dog? Maybe a pet hamster, I don't know. But I really think your dog deserves a stocking and maybe a dog treat and definitely a plush dog toy. Okay, that's all I'm asking, that's all I'm saying. I'm just out there repping the dogs. What am I doing? I don't know, let's get into today's video. Ready? Let's do it. So if you wanna cut that in half, like right on the, like right here, that way we have plenty of excess. Okay, the first thing I did this year was I actually made sure to protect my mantle. You guys know, I tell you all the time, don't be afraid to put holes in your walls. You can always fix them later, but when you spend a bunch of money to have everything painted and look really nice, it's hard to damage it a couple months later. So I'm trying to be very careful, but I'm also telling myself, this is our home and I wanna live in it. I don't wanna, it's not a museum. So it's okay if things get messed up because you can always fix them. I did want to take a precaution. So this year I got white felt because we have a white mantle and we traced out the shape of the mantle because it's kind of a unique shape. And we made a little like mat that we put on the mantle underneath all of the garden to put under the garland because I didn't want to get it all messed up. If you have a dark wood mantle, you could get brown felt. We did white felt and I think it worked out great. Well, I guess we'll find out when we go to take it down in three months. Stay tuned, I'll let you know how that worked. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna determine how you want your garland to lay on your mantle. Last year, we did a swooped look. So it came up here and then it came down here and then it went back up there. It was a white frosted garland. Uh, it was beautiful. It was a much more fancy, elegant look. Whereas this year, I wanted it to be very organic, effortless and kinda like I just chopped off these pine leaves in the backyard and brought them in and plopped them on the mantle. And I think that's the look we got. So I did use, gosh, let me think, six of these on here. You can obviously just use like one if you want a really thin look, but I wanted it to feel really luscious, so I used six. I also wanted it to be kind of like slooping, slooping, sloping off the edges and a very like romantic, what's the word I'm looking for? Like ethereal, is that the word I'm looking for? Kind of, I don't know, I just wanted it to look really cozy, but also like not perfect. So I think that's the look that we achieved here. I literally just draped them over. It was a very simple application. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. The third thing I did was I went through and made sure to cover up all of the spines and all of the butts. They have body parts. Did you not know? Wherever I saw any of the brown pieces, I just kind of moved some of these little things around to kind of cover them up. You cover up some of those spots, make sure that you don't have any holes. A great way to achieve that is to have extra picks on hand. So get the garland, but also get the picks. And you can just fill in where you need it. If you want it extra droopy in one spot, you can kind of droop one of the picks over. It's hard to droop on a mantle with the full garland because sometimes if it's not perfectly balanced, it'll fall off. But with the picks, it's just one-sided and the other side is a big stick. So you can kind of slip it in there and it makes it look really nice and really full and luscious and beautiful. Hair, 
The fourth thing I did was I added a little bit of interest to this really simple garland. So I wanted to keep it pretty organic and pretty clean, but I wanted on the right side here to hang these beautiful kind of like antiqued gold bells. I think I'm just gonna do two. I feel like three is too much, right? It brings in the warmth of the gold that I'm using in my tree. And then I found these same bells in a smaller version on, it's what I actually used on the staircase. And I sprinkled that into the garland on top and it allowed them to kind of peep through periodically throughout the garland space. And then on the other side, we have stockings. You guys know last year I got custom stockings made, which to be honest, when we get closer to Christmas, I'm probably gonna bring those out, but they are red and green. They don't really match the theme this year. These are definitely more the style. And we got one for me, one for Sawyer, and one for Tyler. And I do have a stocking for Scout. She has a hook here. It just didn't go with the decor. So she'll, we'll put hers out before Christmas, I promise. But I do think it's great to have kind of like a one-sided thing going on with all the stockings on one side and then have something fun to balance it on the other side with the bells. And overall, it just looks really beautiful. Simple, clean, and elegant. A really good idea when you guys have different items that you wanna to use to add interest to your mantle, pull out all those different things, lay them on a table, see how they all go together before you put them up and make sure you have them easily accessible so you know when to add them and which items you wanna use makes it faster and a simpler process. Also, I updated my art. So if you have a framed TV, I discovered there's a gal out there on the interwebs that has beautiful prints that you can buy in real life, or you can get the digital version and she already has all the aspect ratios set for the frame TV, which if you've ever tried to do a custom photo and get it to the right exact dimensions, it can be kind of complicated. And I think this is a great picture for fall slash winter, because you guys know we decorate early. So it's kind of like, it's not fully Christmassy, but very much the pine vibe that I'm going for this year, which I love. So let's go take a look and see how some of those tips apply for your doorways over your casements and how you can make them festive and beautiful. Because honestly, it does make a huge difference. Let's go take a look. This year I wanted, uh, again, for it to be really simple, really clean and just a beautiful touch of natural pine throughout each of the walkways here. It's crazy how much of a difference this will actually make in your home. You can go all out, you can make it super fancy. I've done that in the past where I added bows and ribbons and picks and ornaments and all kinds of things. You can make it a really big wow and that is so beautiful. But this year I wanted to tone it back but I still wanted there to be some interest above the doorways and then also adding some green throughout each. We have this like little walkway here as you can see behind me. So all I did this year truly was I put a nail in the center and a nail on either side. Well I didn't, Tyler did. Get yourself a handy husband. You take each of the garlands and you loop them through the center nail and then you pull them on the side and plop them behind each of the side nails. And then I took one of those picks and I slid it in, I zip tied them to both ends to keep it kind of in the middle. You gotta hide the butts and then you're kind of done. You can kind of fluff them or separate them or have them fall, swoop however you want them to. But the, the tips that I shared with you earlier where you wanna decide on how you want it to fall, how you want it to swoop, attach it with some zip ties. You could even add interest if you want making it kind of all come together where you have little pops of the same greenery throughout your house. It's kind of like when we're decorating a home and you're just you know, thinking about accessorizing, I always say everything should have a buddy. So I love that we have this greenery here on the mantle, it's above the doorways as you walk through and then it's also on the staircase. I think it just looks really beautiful and it's just so clean and festive and I just love it. I'm curious to know what you guys think this year. I know that this is a much more toned back version of Christmas. Usually I add all the ribbons and all the things to it. I personally love how simple it is. I love how clean and cozy it feels in here. And it just feels like us, like that's, that's like the ticket. If you can get yourself, figure out what your style is, even within Christmas decorating, and then decorate it to your heart's desire, it just feels like home. And that's what you wanna feel at Christmas time, right? And the best part of this year was Sawyer even helped, especially with the garland.
Okay, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this was a fun video. I'm really hopeful that you guys learned all the things about decorating your mantle, just a few quick tips. Let me know what you think about this year's theme and how you think it's all coming together. If you guys missed the episode of the full walkthrough of our Christmas decorated home, I'm gonna link that below, you should check it out. And if you missed our Christmas decorating, tree decorating video, or our entryway staircase decorating video, be sure to check those out. I will link them all below for you, and I will try to link all of the materials that you see in this video and other videos in the description below. I'll link as much as I can find online. Go leave me a comment below on how you decorate your mantle, how many stockings, does your pet get a stocking? And I'll see you next time. Love ya, bye.